I absolutely hate filming content with my phone. Let me explain. Some people may call me elitist, some people may call me a purist, and some people may call me just plain out bougie. But hear me out. Once you fall in love with the feel of a camera, once you fall in love with dialing in the settings and having an experience that's not attached to email and social media, things become different. I would so much rather carry around, even this point and shoot, I would so much rather carry this around than have to depend on this. So let me take you through the three main reasons why I would much rather carry around this than this. First of all, I kinda already mentioned it. There's something special, even if your camera has smart and has touchscreen, there's something very special about the tactile buttons that come with a camera and like operating a camera. It forces your brain to think in a different way than let me just touch the screen, even though there is the touchscreen on this. Having that analog feel is still really special and that is one of the first reasons. The second reason, there's so many things that you can do with this. It's so easy to get distracted or wrapped up and that's what it's meant to do. These things are meant to distract you. They're meant to do everything. It's very difficult to stay in camera mindset, camera mode, even if you turn on do not disturb, even if you know, you, you block out everything else in your life. This is only gonna be a content creation device. In the back of your mind, you still know that it has the capabilities to do everything else, and it is a subtle distraction. Even if you have the camera on, the only real tactile buttons that you have are the volume up, volume down buttons, and most people don't even use that. While it is convenient to carry a smartphone and it, it is convenient to carry this camera around with you, it's not, uh, in my opinion, a great, alternative to a camera. It's kind of like a, I have it on me and I need to capture this, not I'm really into content creation and I really want to document and tell a story. So let me choose this device. Also, I don't know about anybody else, but I always forget to clean off the storage on this thing. And so it is chock full, I mean full to the brim of all kinds of photos and videos and things that I just do not offload onto my computer or hard drives. It's just still stored on my phone. I think it's just a mindset shift of if you're gonna use your phone, which I don't recommend, go ahead and like start treating it like a camera and offload your things, offload your content creation into a safer place. Go ahead and have it upload to the cloud, but still have a physical backup. And the third and final reason that I would much rather carry around an actual camera than a smartphone is, and people are gonna fight me on this, but the quality. I don't care that iPhones have come out with all kinds of computational photography things. I don't care that Android and Samsung and whoever else has come out with all kinds of, you know, super cool AI uh, things that auto fix faces and all kinds of things like that. Like, Yes, the technology and the innovation is amazing, but there's something special about looking at a film photo. There's something special even about blowing up a photo that was taken with a digital camera or going through the photography creation process with a digital camera, printing that photo and having it live in a physical world and seeing the quality difference. The, the sensor sizes in phones, I know that they're making phones with larger sensors, but even still, none of that is gonna compare completely to a full frame sensor. Video, you're kind of playing with, you know, some, some deeper things, but when it comes to photography specifically, the quality from full frame and medium format is unrivaled in my opinion. You can, I know, I know that we do these tests here on YouTube and it's like, oh, can you spot the difference? Well, I mean, most people can't, but when, when you really examine the image, most of the times, if you look close enough, you can. Those are just three reasons why I would personally choose to carry a physical camera over depending on the one in my pocket. That's not to say don't carry around the one in your pocket. That's not to say don't use the one in your pocket. If I had the choice, I would always choose a physical camera. Whether you agree or disagree with me, I'd love to hear your opinion down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Larry G and uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.